Well, science is revealing more and more about what could set you up for getting Alzheimer's disease. And in tonight's Medical Watch, Meg Ferris reveals the connection with drinking wine, not visiting your dentist, and more. Looks like there are some simple lifestyle changes you can make today to protect your brain function tomorrow. First, remember growing up when your parents told you alcohol kills brain cells? Well, they may have been on the right track because a study out of England finds that just one small glass of wine a day puts you at higher risk for Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. Alcohol is causing the suppression of a, of a hormone or, uh, that regulates the iron, and so therefore the iron regulation in the brain um, is not uh, occurring in the way it needs to, and it's allowing more accumulation of iron. And no doubt mom and dad told you to brush and floss your teeth daily. Well, they were right again. Another study suggests that bacteria that is the most common cause of gum disease is associated with Alzheimer's and dementia. And when they studied and looked for antibodies uh, to uh, different bacteria that are common in gum disease, they discovered that those antibodies were very commonly found in people with Alzheimer's or dementia. In another first-of-its-kind study, researchers reveal a genetic link between Alzheimer's and several gut-related disorders. People with Alzheimer's and gut disorders have some genes in common. One hypothesis is that it might be um, related to cholesterol or lipid metabolism. So the question for future research is, could taking a statin to control cholesterol potentially manage or prevent Alzheimer's? Studies are clear that when you take care of your overall health with exercise, a healthful diet, weight control, and not smoking, your brain reaps the benefits. We expect there to be a lot of Alzheimer's at a growing number in the future. No question about it. This is um, the most common cause of dementia. And there's no time to start like the present. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. And another study found if you practice writing with your non-dominant hand for just five minutes a day, that could keep the brain nimble and lower your risk for Alzheimer's and dementia.